Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Got something a little bit different for you guys. It's not an A through Z series video, but I will be uploading an A through Z uh, series video today. I'm gonna be doing a double upload, I would assume. And uh, yeah, I wanted to start here so I can show you guys just how many how many characters are red right now. <laughs> it's actually insane. Oh, we're against the Heimdall. Oof. Um, but yeah, look at how many characters are banned in Duel now. And my point here, if I can, you know, find my way to my point. Um, my point is, is Kamazots was already kind of like a, a top dual character. Uh, <laughs> Kamazots was already a top dual character before the bans, and now they made it to where like one fourth of the top, or well, one fourth of the total god pool is just banned in dual, pretty much. And so, of course, if he was already a top god and he made it through the bans, he's going to be even better, right? Naturally, that's just how that works. And um, I mean, so yeah, there's that. And also, I wanted to say that the reason why I'm doing two videos today is because I've been slacking this week, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but I've been slacking. I haven't been uploading as much as I should have this uh, this week, uh, which I apologize for. So I'm going to do two today. Uh, it's going to be an A through Z series video and this video. I'm assuming this video is going to be the first one I upload based on how I'm talking so far. Um, and as far as this matchup goes, the reason why I was like surprised at seeing a Heim is because not many people play Heim, to be honest. Also, he's kind of been getting banned. I don't know if that's because I've been talking about him or people just, you know, don't like that guy. But Heim's been getting banned and I never really go against him. And uh, Heim is considered to be like a melee counter in general. But um, sorry, I had to cough there. But uh, he doesn't necessarily counter uh, Kamazots, though, because Kamazots, while he is melee, I wouldn't really call him like a traditional melee because he's more of like a ranged kind of guy. He has like ranged spells and whatnot. And then once even if he's not, you know, even when his stuff's on cooldown, half the time he's just flapping around in the air. Right. So a um, little bit, a little bit of an interesting matchup here where some people would say that Kamazots loses this pretty hard because, you know, melee counter. Right. But I actually think the opposite is true. Uh, also, one thing, I, I've talked about this in previous camo videos that I've done, but I'm going to talk about it again, because, you know, I can't... I just assume everybody watched that, right? But, um... As you can see, I have three passive stacks, and you may be wondering how, if you weren't paying attention. And, uh... The way I have three passive stacks is you can actually get more than one passive stack off the buff. All you have to do is you hit it with your two initially. You know, like you saw me get a passive stack there and I didn't even kill the the, the, the camp. I just marked it, right? You can see a little mark on it. Well, let me try not to get beat up too bad here. But uh, you can get one just by marking it. You don't even have to kill it. And you can get another one by killing the buff with the, the two. Like if your two is the finishing blow on the buff, then um you get another passive stack so you can get three stacks off of just two buffs right you can get two stacks off of one that also works for refreshing it too like for example you see how my passives ticking down and i've already got one off this guy if i end up getting the red hold on oh, he like took a minute to tp there that was interesting Bro, Haim is such a cool character. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I think Haim is just one of the coolest looking characters in the game. He knows I can see him, right? I would ult away if I were you, bucko. Oh, wait, maybe <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do that. I was going to, like, disable the tower at the door, but I, whatever, dude. I'll just go around. He can port to this if he really wanted to. Is he doing it? It, it would uh, put his port on cooldown for a very long time, which is pretty dangerous to do if you're losing the game, right? Let's see, I just refreshed my passive. We're all good in the hood, baby. Yeah, I feel like I have so much I'm like trying to talk about right now, and I'm like fumbling over my words a little bit. I apologize, guys. Hopefully, I'll do a better job. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'll do a better job in the Horus video. The eighth, oh, spoiler. The A through Z series, the Horus video. Anybody who knows the alphabet could probably predict which uh, which character was next, right? All my homies in the in the comments right now who don't know the alphabet, like, bro, come on. How could you? How could you? Oh, but anyways, uh, what, I already made my point earlier about Kamazots just by far being the best. And also, like, my thumbnail and whatever probably, you know, says something about it too. But Kamazots is just the best character after bands. Like, he just is. Like, it's not even an opinion. It's not It's not a question whatsoever. It's just a fact. He is the best character available after bands now. 
there's some characters that are pretty good too, you know, and maybe come in the same realm, I guess, but Kamazots is just in a league of his own. So if you're not planning on picking Kamazots, you're not a big fan of uh, the Zotzer, the Batman, that's fine. Just, um, you know, make sure you're banning him because you still have six bans. I, I, I'm passing on my bans right now for the most part. For the most part, because I'm trying to figure out matchups. Sometimes I ban like two or three gods, but... Oh! Okay, I'll be honest, that was pretty bad. He has his ult, yeah. I wonder if I can kill him like this. I shouldn't have let that phoenix shoot me. Yeah, I can kill him. Oof, okay, we only took two shots. I thought it was going to take three shots. Yeah, poor guy, man. It, like... Even on a safe character like Haim, he just doesn't know what to do. I mean, in his defense, he did get the blue, but I don't really think that's worth it. Like, if he was already down 0-2, maybe it'd be worth it to die for the blue, because he's, like, not worth that much. But he wasn't that far behind, realistically. Like, just wanted to get those last hits real quick, and then we'll dip. Um, uh, but another thing I wanted to say is I don't really expect this game or any other games like if i end up making this a two or three parter because so many people f6 against camazots honestly so many people just f6 in general once they start losing so when you're playing like a good character like camazots they definitely f6 i also think um may, you know maybe i'm egoing here right now or whatever but i also think some people just f6 because it's me like they know me they either know that i'm a streamer and a youtuber or maybe they just know that i'm on the gm leaderboard because oftentimes i am number one on the leaderboard Say like most of the time I am. Oh my gosh. Um. So yeah, maybe, uh, my point is, is like whether it's the Masters borders, the I don't know what it is, man. But long story short, I'm pretty sure that people just surrender against me a lot, and it's kind of lame when it comes to trying to get videos. I could try recording on a second account. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you guys think that's a good idea? Honestly, dude, I hate doing that because it makes it seem like I'm being like a coward, you know? Like I'm scared to lose on my main, but it's like... I don't know. That's not my intention at all. Like, I genuinely am just trying to get better games for you guys. Or at the very least, real games that get played out, right? Oh. Face the bitter winds. I could have beads that, but he still has his port, right? So... It's not like if I beads that, I'm just going to kill him for sure, but. Now he has no ult to run away or to CC me, so I can just jump. Beads the horn, hopefully. Okay, I actually beads way too early, but it worked out anyways because he messed up his horn. I think he has shell. Okay, he doesn't have shell. Also, the dual orb spawned in the middle of the lane, as you can see it over there, because he was too close to the tower. I think it's so silly how that works. Oh, I'm actually not going to push this because he has his portal. Um, and he could opt to take it. But uh, yeah, for those of you who have never seen that before, long story short, if you kill someone when they're like too close to a wall, like kind of like this, or too close to a tower, sometimes, you know, it, depending on which wall they're at or whatever, it can actually just spawn in the middle of the lane and screw you over. It's really bad. Um, normally, I'd be buying a power potion right now to push my lead even harder, but I'm not going to because this game is already a stomp and like he's probably already going to surrender. Like, let's be real. I'm I'm Kamazots owning him, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let off the gas. Like, I'm not gonna let him live. But the one tiny little thing I can do for him is not it's not buy power potions to <clears throat> make myself even more OP, right? So the, so I'm not really giving him much of a much help. But a little bit. Definitely a little bit, for sure. He does have defense online, but I think he had defense online last time we killed him, so... He's not playing his portals correctly. He could definitely survive a lot more. Like, Camo wins this matchup pretty hard, in my opinion. But, just because I win the matchup doesn't mean I should be killing him three times in, like, six minutes, right? Most of the time, this matchup's actually just going to be nothing but farming until late game, in which case I try to, like, one-shot him kind of thing. The early game is not supposed to be, it's not supposed to go this bad. Although I will still stand on my point, which is... Kamazot's OP, baby. Okay, I think we're gonna try to blink on him here. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where that went. <laughs> the most important thing on Kamazot's... Oh. 
There we go. All right, let's go, baby. Um, the most important thing on Camasots is landing your two, by far. Like, don't get me wrong, the one power steroid is very, very strong, it is, but the two overall does more damage. You know, like, like, like level nine, when you, like, got your one maxed or whatever, and your two's level one, it's not gonna do more damage, but generally speaking, the two does do more damage. It heals you and gives them, um, gives them a 40% slow for three seconds. Which is absolutely mad. 40% is a big number, and 3 seconds is relatively long, right? In, in the game of Smite, at least. Um, hmm. I don't know what I want here. I, I guess I could go Hydras, and that'd be fine. But it's a little bit awkward trying to auto-attack Heimdall. But uh, a little bit awkward doesn't mean impossible. Also, this dude went blink. I mean, respect. Like, <laughs> I respect the... The, the cool guy points, I guess, but I don't think that's your smartest decision. Like, if he was ahead, or, like, playing super well, right, maybe, because Blink is one of those relics that how good it is really depends on how good you are. Like, how good you, um, you play with it, right, and how good your positioning is. And he's just not, he's just not doing so hot so far, right? So it's a little bit weird, in my opinion, but... Back to my point a minute ago, the main reason why I'm going Hydras here is because I want CR. CDR is pretty good on this guy. I probably should have tuned that, but it's no big deal. I think what I'm going to do... Oh, he's going double defense. Interesting. I think what I'm going to do is back and upgrade my blink to have it off cooldown a little bit more. That sounds good. I'm going to take a drink. I think he's going to get his blue. That's fine, though. Now, he's going to be a little bit harder to kill. Because he has more defense. But I do have 30% pen. And uh, most importantly. He may be a little bit difficult to kill. But. One thing I am noticing about his build. Is he has no damage. So I'm not really worried about him killing me. And I'm slightly less worried about him stealing this. Because he doesn't have that much damage. Although he still can. Okay. He was too slow anyways. He did. Or maybe he just was never coming. I don't know. I keep like trying to auto and then use my two and I feel like that's throwing me off. And so overall, like I'm like trying to be more skillful and look cool, but like I'm just screwing myself over in the process, right? So look at that. He has a breastplate completed. Completed. He doesn't do any damage to me. Like, look at my health bar. That's the problem he's running into right now, is he just doesn't do enough damage. Oh, I thought he was going to ult. That's why I ulted. Oh. Oh. Okay, I, mi <laughs> I missed a couple times there. That was pretty bad. I'm just going to back. I'm going to give him one more fight. Honestly, for the sake of the video, because it's only 11 minutes in. And this is one of those weird situations where it's like, if I end now, it's like, do I do a two-parter or do I not do a two-parter? Because, like, this is, like, mostly a game. Like, it's, it's like, 12 minutes. So, like, that's more than a surrender, right? But at the same time, it's not like, a, I wouldn't call this, like, a full, full game. It's only 12 minutes, you know? Like... I don't know. Uh, this is a little bit unorthodox, and I only I've only done this in a few videos before, but I'm actually gonna do it. Where um, I, I think I'm gonna let him get a kill here. I think I'm going to let him get a kill. Yeah. Like I'm Camazots, dude. I'm literally playing the most broken character in all of Duel. Like unironically, this is the best Duel character. I'm just gonna give him a kill. As you guys saw, how much gold he just got. Look at that. He gained. Wait. What? Wait, where did this come from? Why did why did he gain two? Oh wait, maybe it's you get kill gold and then you get revenge gold and it's separate? I don't know how that just worked, but anyways, the point is he almost got 1500 XP and he got like 9000 gold, yeah. Yeah, that's what that math is right there. Uh, let's hope he actually picks up that red buff. I hope he does. Um, if he doesn't, I'll grab it, no problem, but I hope he does. Oh, I think I just lagged there. Maybe I didn't lag and my, my eyeballs just lagged, I don't know. Oh, he messaged me and said LOL. <laughs> LOL? 
if he sticks around after or, or I'll, maybe I'll message him off the recording you know just depending on how it goes but I will tell this guy I'll be like yo I wasn't trying to be toxic I swear I'm genuinely just trying to uh make a decent video and whatnot and I don't want to I don't want to do this thing where I re and try to get like a really good game because the reason why I didn't upload yesterday guys is because I played like five smite games off stream and I could not get Kamazots through, and I just didn't feel like doing my Horus A through Z that day. So, it's just frustrating me, man. I was playing, like, I played, like, an hour or two of Smite and couldn't get Kamazots through, and the couple times I did get him through, it was really bad games, right? So, sorry. Um, but, yeah, it was really, really bad games overall. So, I don't know. It was just frustrating. So, forgive me if I'm trying to get a decent game here. Also, to be fair, I think this is one of the best matchups in a game slot. It's not the best, but it's one of the best that are available right now. And you may say, well, like, I literally just said that Haim loses this, right? Yeah, he does lose. I'm not saying that Haim should win this. I'm just saying Haim's one of the characters that stand the best chance, right? The characters that come to mind immediately that are still available that stand the best chance are like Haim, Apollo, uh, Robin and maybe like a maybe like a good crit like Nemesis or something. None of those characters should beat Kamazots, but they can. Like they have the highest probability, right? That's my point. All right, let's go. No, no playing around now. All in. Also, he got he got Kins. There's no way that's good, man. Look at how much damage I do, even through his double defense. Dude. Okay. Look at how much damage I do, man. I mean, I had the red buff, dude. I, I had the red buff, though. Can we give him one more fight? <laughs> it's so toxic. This is so toxic. I don't care. I'm committed. One more fight. Promise. I won't I won't do this thing where I do one more, one more every time. One more, and then we're done 100%. Because by then, he'll probably have his crit finished. He'll be six slot, and I won't have a red buff. But you know what I will have? I'll have... Oh, this is like a weird part where normally I, normally I would go I would go uh, Brawlers. Because like I don't really want to go Crusher because I already have capped Penetration. But like at the same time, what really are my best options? You know, like Arendite, like after my ult's finished. Like I could go Crit. I could go Beat Stick for no apparent reason. Like maybe I just overcap the pen here and call it a day, you know? Or maybe we do something spicy. I I want to go get that red, I think, but I don't really want to pick it up. I want to just... Oh. He paused. Uh, please tell me he's not pausing to message me something cringe. Uh, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. If I were in his... Oh, if I were in his position, I'd probably be like, what the heck is going on, too? But, you know. You know. You get it. All right, don't pick this up. Don't pick this up. Don't pick it up. Just leave it there. Back. Go buy this Deathbringer. Close out this game. Get this W. But yeah, I hope you guys understand that it's very difficult for me to get a good Kamazots game because literally I get this character through. I'm not even kidding. I've played many. I streamed yesterday. I gave up trying to record and I streamed. I get this character through one in every like six, seven, eight games. And then when I actually finally get him through, it's a game like this. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Okay, we got a crit on him, but he does have the double defense, so it's not going to just explode him, right? We didn't, we didn't use our blink there, which is great. He's a little close to his base, you know? Oh, that is unlucky. I mean, don't get me wrong, even if he hit me, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have done anything. I would have just beads and ulted, but yeah, that's rough for him. Unlucky, and he probably also is kind of hoping that I won't end again, but like I said, one more. We got to late game six slot. If the game was pretty much even, I think maybe I had a power pot and he didn't, maybe. But other than that, the game is completely even. He he, he built really wrong. Um, like I said, normally I would have like a Brawlers here because they would have anti-heal. The, the Deathbringer was kind of just for fun, but it ended up working out pretty well. Uh, I'll quickly tell you guys what I would have built if I were Heimdall. Because I know you guys are usually interested in that kind of stuff when I say like, 
oh, they could have played better if they built correctly, but they didn't, blah, 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 blah. All right, we explained that to him a little bit. Whether he chooses to believe it or not is up to him. Uh, I'm going to tab out so I can uh, open up my volume mixer here. So I can mute Smite in the background. A little no problem. Um, anyways, so what I would have built if I were Heimdall, um, I would have went... the. It's a pretty standard ADC build, honestly. This isn't like a hidden tech or anything. But I would have went Griffin Wing into Aussie, into Berserker Shield into demon blade into dominance and then last item i would have went oboe if i needed to end the game and kill the titan but when you're against the camazots that's probably not your play you're probably just trying to fight him and survive and whatnot so i probably would have went like last item deathbringer like the green one um if you're not a fan of that like the anti-heal deathbringer and you want more attack speed i suppose you can go toxic blade and that would be mostly fine but i'm not a big fan of toxic blade i like big burst numbers uh, another thing you could do is if you really wanted attack speed, you could go XE for more pen, but I'm not a huge fan of that. I personally would just go the the five items I said, and then last time, or you could go Boomerang, but like I said, I, I personally would go Deathbringer because I don't mind a little bit slower attack speed. It's mostly fine. But um, yeah, if you if you want more crit or whatever, or more attack speed in general, there's plenty of options to get more attack speed last. As far as my, my build goes, I think this is a pretty standard build aside from the Deathbringer. You normally would have Brawlers here. You could also opt to, instead of getting Hydras, you could get Crusher Heartseeker and use the double procs and not have the Hydras. Wait, because I honestly don't even think the Hydras proc is that important. The main reason why I got it was for CDR. But, you know, you don't need cap CDR because with a Power Potion, this is 40%, uh, right? But with a Power Potion without the Hydras, it would be 30%, which is mostly fine, right? You don't need 40%, but so it's up to you guys. Uh, you could just go a Crusher in place of Hydras. And then I'll, most of the time, like in... 90% of dual games, if not more, you're going to need anti-heal, which Deathbringer does have anti-heal on the glyph, but I'm, I, I didn't really care about that. Um, so I would go Brawlers last. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and thank you guys so much. Again, two videos today. There's going to be an A through Z video as well to try to make up for not posting this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.